San Diego was recently named the least affordable metropolitan city in the nation with some of the highest housing costs in the country. A newly unveiled bill is aimed to keep Californians or to help them buy homes. If passed, it'll make it tougher for investors to purchase homes and then flip them. CBS 8's Kelly Hassadal has more from Mission Hills on how this could help families. Well, if you talk to people buying a home right now, it's not unusual to hear them say things like uh, they've submitted more than two dozen offers or they offered 50 K above asking price or that they got outbid by a cash buyer. AB 1771 is aimed at changing this. It just gets frustrating. You know, you just keep getting the, you know, sorry, we went with a cash offer. I just didn't think that we'd be able to afford to live here anymore and I didn't want to have to leave my home state. Trisha Cortez is 35 years old and works as a pharmacy tech at Scripps Hospital. She and her partner started submitting bids on homes last fall. 33, 33 offers before we finally got an accepted offer. It felt impossible. It felt daunting. It felt like we just didn't have enough money. I didn't have a good enough job. Cortez told her story during a news conference Wednesday morning where AB 1771 was unveiled. It's a bill aimed at discouraging real estate speculation in California by hitting short term investors with a 25% income surtax on profits gained from a property's appreciation within three years. State Assembly member Chris Ward authored the bill. Those with means who have no intentions of living in these residences are outbidding would be neighbors and even each other, pushing up the prices and this activity unchecked affects us all. But will this bill make a difference? USD professor Alan Jin. I think it'll have some impact. Uh, I think it'll help uh, curtail uh, speculation somewhat uh, by the fact that uh, it'll tax some of the gains that people make by, by speculating, by investing uh, and holding just for, for the short term. Critics of the bill include investors like Said Abdallah. I don't think it addresses the main issue with why prices are so high and it's a supply and demand issue. For Cortez, she finally bought a home in the college area, a one bedroom condo, less than 500 square feet. We paid, I think it was sixty or $70,000 over asking price. It, we just had to keep driving, driving our bids up. And she says she moved into her new home with her partner and her two dogs just days ago. Now, I asked Professor Jin if this bill passes and takes effect, how long before we see an impact on the housing market? He says it's tough to say, but he says this is an important first step. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.